Hello everyone, Treeks here, and welcome to my next Let's Play. Welcome to the PlayStation game Disney Pixar A Bug's Life. After the famous 1998 movie from Disney Pixar about a misfit ant who's trying to save his colony by finding other bugs that actually function as warriors in order to save his colony. One of the earliest Pixar movies that was ever made, but there was also a video game made after this movie. And that is indeed in my possession, the whole reason why you're looking at this project right now. <laughs> Back in the day I actually um, thought Disney movies were quite interesting, but not just Disney movies, but also the video games that were actually made after those movies. I don't own every single one of them, like I explained earlier in uh, other Disney projects, <laughs> most of them on the SNES. But some of them I indeed do, and A Bug's Life is also one of them. A pretty interesting 3D platformer that follows the story of Flick, just like in the movie, but of course in video game form. All of the scenes in the movie have been turned into stages that we can actually um, go through, collecting all sorts of things. Just like a lot of 3D platformers, there's also a lot of collectathon business present in this game. <laughs> and here on the PlayStation version, it even comes equipped with some of the scenes from the movie. There's also a Nintendo 64 version of this game, I'm pretty sure. But that one actually does not have the scenes from the movie, so... <laughs> there are some slight differences, but I actually own this game on the PlayStation. So I'm also going to be Let's Playing it with the PlayStation version, if you don't mind. <laughs> so this is going to be my next weekend project for the next couple of weeks. It's not the longest game ever made, so <laughs> pretty suiting to actually put in as a weekend project. Let's get started. Even if you're not familiar with the movie, the story also gets told pretty well in the game, so if you're following along for the story, that should also work here. <laughs> the first stage that actually becomes available is a training stage, even though it's not required, because Ant Hill, the actual first stage, is already available. Other options include um, everything you would expect. Movie clips can be uh, viewed back. We have some safe options and we have regular options. The movie clips option is actually meant for all of the cutscenes you will find in this game. And once you unlock them, they actually get available here. So you can use this mode to actually watch the movie, you might say, <laughs> in the end. <laughs> if you have all of them. Load save. The PlayStation makes use of a memory card, of course. It does not have the save feature on its own. We are going to check out the regular options first, before we get started. Let's go take a look what this game can offer. First option, controls. The controls in this game are actually pretty basic, there's three main things that you can do. Jumping, action and attacking. By default it's actually set to cross, triangle and square, as you can see. But there are actually options to change that around, pretty much all of them options you can think of are available <laughs> but I'll just go for the first one that's the one I'm used to so should work fine enough remember these controls cross the jump triangle for action and square in order to attack next one music volume and sound effects volume those pretty much speak for themselves there's a vibrate option if you're actually making use of dual shock and the final option is center screen which is a pretty useless option so <laughs> Also, don't have to go over that one. Wouldn't know why you would actually uh, switch around your screen. So, with that said, it's actually time to get started with this game. Finding out how it actually works. For this, we can actually play this optional stage called Training. But even the training level is something we can clear. And also something we can clear 100%, so... <laughs> but more about that later. <laughs> Let's get started with this game. Yeah! Well, hello there, Flick. I learned a long time ago that the ant's most basic line of defense is your berry throw. Heave a few around by hitting your throw button. Go on, my boy, give it a go. In the options just now we learned the square buttons are attack button, which used to throw berries around. Now click. There are a lot of places to explore. But you can't run anywhere you want willy-nilly. Sometimes you have to jump. Go on, hop around a bit. Alright, jumping, we do that with cross. You can also get a feel of how high you can get. <laughs> Looking good. Now, when faced with a less than cooperative foe, put your abdomen into it. 
If you hit your jump button twice, you'll see what I'm talking about. Ooh, we can actually do ground pounds in this game. And even slide around on the ground if you hold the cross. <laughs> this actually always looked really funny. <laughs> Click. The world around you is alive. From the time I was a pupa, I found useful seeds peppered throughout the land. If you unlock their mysteries, they will help you complete your journey. You can grab onto a seed by pushing the throw button. Drop it by hitting the throw button again. All right, remember these seeds. They're actually pretty important in this game. And you can see we can actually carry them around. Important to this know. This seed is embedded in the soil, but you can still grab it. When you're ready, you can crack open a seed by using the trusty bounce. In other words, we need to jump on it. <laughs> if you want to grow something new, simply pick up the plant. You dispose of it with the throw button. All right, like this. Jiminy Cricket, I haven't seen a token that color in years. Very valuable, these tokens. They allow you to grow different plants. You see, the more tokens you find, the more possibilities you open up. Go on, pick up the token. When you find a seed, you can change its color by pressing your seed color button. Okay, that's the button I called action button. Triangle. Now, crack open the seed flick. And we get a different plant. You'll need to find another green token before you can reach the top. Oh, need to find another one. These will actually upgrade our plant. First, you can grow your standard bouncing mushroom. Find the next seed and color it green. Crack that green seed open. Open it up. Level 2 green plant. Well done. Now, reach that ledge by using the mushroom to get to the leaf and onto the ledge. Aha! So that's how it works. Click. Our sustenance comes from the grain. Collect 50 pieces and gain full health. Spell Flick to gain a new life. Secrets about our world can be unlocked by eliminating all the enemies, collecting all the grain, and spelling out your name. So those are pretty much the collectibles of this game. Superberry! I'll let you in on a secret flick. Shall I? A blueberry is twice as effective as a red berry. A little red berry won't even wrinkle the exoskeleton of a grasshopper. Some berries, like the greens and the purples, home yeah. in on your foes. But the best berry of all is the gold. Find the elusive gold berry and your enemies will trouble you no further. Berries also seem to be a thing. There's different colors of them. The gold berry being the most powerful one. Always the one you're after because killing all of the enemies is apparently also a collectible. So, that's pretty much what we're dealing with in all of the stages. Collecting 50 pieces of grain, collecting letters in order to spell out our name, and destroying all of the enemies with gold berries. Those are our main objectives, other than finding the exit in any stage. <laughs> and getting the gold berry can be done in multiple ways. In the case of this training stage, it's actually by creating the most powerful purple plant, as you can see. The moment we collect all of the purple tokens, our purple plant actually becomes a plant that can generate a gold berry. So we need to find the plant in order to gold respawn the seed, I can do turn it purple, and crack it open for the plant giving us a gold thing. berry. Oh, yeah. The moment we obtain that, the number of enemies in the stage actually becomes visible, in this case four. So we need to kill four of these termites, and that will give us the clear check of the enemies. And that's 100%, because we already got 50 of the grains and our name. <laughs> So that gives 100% for this training stage. And all we need to do is actually finding the exit of the stage. Because of course there's also still an exit. <laughs> Let's go. And that will complete our training. Oh, yeah. All of the stages will actually work like this. Finding the exit being the main objective. And collecting grains, letters. And killing all of the enemies with golden berries being our goal. 100%. Yeah. And that is how this game works. <laughs> and now it's time to actually dive into the main story. 
episode has been going on for 12 minutes, I see. But I think we have time to do at least the first stage. Let's go! Okay, that's everyone. Are you sure that was everyone, Etta? <laughs> Welcome to Ant Island. Find the entrance to the ant hill. The ants are actually done collecting food for the grasshoppers. Yeah! The grasshoppers are basically the suppressors of the ants, you might say. And in order to keep them satisfied, the ants actually have to collect some food for them. They are done with that. And in order to stay safe, they are now going to retreat to their ant hill. <laughs> However, our hero Flick seems to be running a little bit uh, behind. And there's a good reason he's a little bit behind, because there's stuff for him to collect. <laughs> Most of the enemies we can already kill with our regular red berries, but it won't count for the completion of the stage quite yet, of course. Only gold berries do. So that's where I need to go. Indeed, Flick, that's where we need to go. <laughs> but a little bit patience, my uh, good sir. There's plenty of things we need to collect. Here's more grains. And the L's also here, so. Oh, we can also upgrade our berry already. Green berry. There's a blue token up there, but it's a little bit too high. <laughs> Taking out the enemies becomes a little bit easier. Green berries are homing berries, as you can see, so. Here's the L at least. Not really doing it in order, it seems. <laughs> Apparently, we're not uh, supposed to go here first. Oh, here's a worm. Be careful for them. They can actually surprise you. Uh, this seems to be continuation. So let's go see if we can actually find something over here. It looks like we can. More grain. On the mushrooms. Oh, and the F is also here. <laughs> Didn't even see that. <laughs> but thank you. I'll take it at least. Now, now, I don't think I can get this high, so... No, these finds are not meant to actually get on the ledge. <laughs> Apparently not. In that case, let's continue over here. Here's more grain. 22. Yeah, in a moment, dot. I'm actually looking for stuff, so... <laughs> oh, here's the first green token. So we get the um, ability to use green plants again. And also the first blue token. The blue plants are actually meant for your upgrades. They will actually give you health and uh, stuff like that. Speaking of blue, here's blue berry. Not per se an upgrade to the green berry, but we're after the gold berry in the end anyway, so... <laughs> There's more grain. It'll push us over the halfway point. 33. 34. Hi, Mr. Worm. <laughs> Whenever going through the stages, also take note on where all of the enemies are located. So the moment you actually obtain your gold berry, you don't have to go start looking for them. Even though we can't actually take them out definitively yet right now. It is advised to actually still take note on where they are. So <laughs> that will actually save you some looking later on. Here's the second this blue token, upgrading our blue plants to be able to give us health. There's also a lot of green tokens here, so let's see if we can actually reach them. Here's the first one at least. So we have the level 2 green plant. So let's change the order around, turn, turn this one into a mushroom, this one into the level 2 green plant. So we can actually reach this ledge over here. So we also obtain the level 3 green plant. Thank you. That we should be able to use to actually get this red token. Level 3. As you can see, even higher. But this time around we can actually still use the regular leaves. Upgrading our red plant to become a propeller. That actually works as follows. As you can see, we can get even higher. <laughs> Just like the mushroom, also somewhat of a trampoline, only this one can get us even higher. And that should be something we can use back in the beginning, because I can remember the blue token being there. And let's in the meantime also try to actually get around this fence, because I saw there's also a couple of grains here. 
And also enemies, so we also need to come back here the moment we obtain the gold berry. So this spot is uh, important no matter what. Uh, here's the end of the stage, but I'm pretty sure there's also a couple of things behind here. Like the eye, for instance. <laughs> and more grain. Up grain here. Almost got everything when it comes to that. Only three more. Bye -bye, buddy. Here's a blue plant. It actually spawns shields, but I think health is a little bit better, so let's upgrade it. <laughs> now, come on, I don't need spiky things. <laughs> yeah, that I need. And that is health. So let's go back to the beginning. There's a couple of things higher up that we couldn't reach. And now we should be able to, now that we have the propeller plant. Right over there. What a beautiful day in my neighborhood. Yeah, that's good enough. Giving us invincibility in our blue plant. Now let's go use you. This is a thing we need to grab over here. Oh, can't reach it. But now we can. <laughs> the purple berry, also known as the mega homing berry. <laughs> Same strength as the blueberry, but with the probabilities of the greenberry, also homing. <laughs> Second highest we can actually get. Only the gold berry is even more powerful. And that one we can actually find right over here. And let's also take a look at what else we can find on this ledge. Because I'm pretty sure the last couple of grains are also here. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> 50 grains, done with that. Now let's go pick up the golden berry that we saw over there. And the K, it's apparently also here. <laughs> so we've got two of the collectibles. Only one more to find. We can see where the gold berry is, so that should not be a problem. Once again, the propeller plant is the solution. So we are now able to defeat all of the enemies here. 21, apparently, in this stage. Oh. <laughs> got one uh, that was down there, apparently. <laughs> that should be everything up here. And now it's just a matter of going through the stage again. Picking up all of the enemies as we go. There's a mosquito, that's number four. Probably also a couple over there. Yeah, there's a wasp over there. That's five. Let's make sure there's nothing else up here. Like termites or anything. Um, oh, there's a worm here. Should be the only one. Let's check the left quickly. Yeah, it seems to be fine. Bye bye, Here's a termite. Fresh air. There was another worm in this little corridor. Bam. There's a wasp. Yeah. And some health. <laughs> what a beautiful day in my neighborhood. Kill bug. And something behind him. <laughs> yeah, the moment you actually obtain the gold berry, it's pretty easy to um, get rid of all of the enemies. It's just a matter of going through the stage again a second time or a third time, depending on how many trips it took you in order to get everything. <laughs> Most of all, upgrading your plants, because that's going to be the, the biggest gist in uh, all of these stages. Finding ways to upgrade your plants and therefore reaching new heights, new tokens. Until you actually find a way to get yourself the elusive gold berry. So even though it's technically a 3D platformer, it's also a big puzzle game, I feel. Because every single stage it's a puzzle, again, finding out how to obtain that golden berry. And usually it's a pretty long and complicated road getting there, so... <laughs> you can actually look forward to some good puzzling in a game like this. And the moment you obtain it, it's just a matter of going through the stage one more time. Picking off everything that you can find. <laughs> Should be four more somewhere. Oh, there's another token for the red plant up there, apparently. <laughs> but I don't think we actually need the final upgrade. Oh, there's even another one there. The propeller plant is actually already enough to get everything, so... I'm not sure why the game would actually give you the level 3 and level 4 red plant. There's no need for that, because as you can see... The level 2 plant is already enough in order to clear off this level 100%. <laughs> so, if you don't mind, I'm not going to bother getting the rest of the red tokens. And this is enough. Let's go enter the oh, end yeah. hill and see how the story continues. Never 
too much crank. F L I K spelled what? That's me. Well, yeah, got everything. We are allowed to continue. If you obtain everything in a stage, oh, yeah. you will earn yourself a bonus movie. Continuing the story of the movie. Let's go see. Okay. That looks like to be quite a handy tool, Flick. <laughs> Perhaps I'll actually start talking about that thing in the next stage. Because his um, little invention in order to um, farm for grain. And that is actually also a mechanic in this game. Already present in the previous stage. But I think in the next one it has a little bit better use. So next time when we continue in the tunnels I will also try to cover that mechanic. But anyway we've uh, reached our traditional 20 minute mark. So the next stage is not going to happen. Stages can be quite long. 10 to 20 minutes is pretty normal in uh, the stages in this game. So we'll continue with that next time. Thank you all for watching this introduction episode of A Bug's Life here on the PlayStation. Also already did the first stage, but you can also kind of consider that introduction. <laughs> See you folks next time in the tunnels and the story will continue. Treaks out! Later folks!